What's up, YouTube? Quick little video, quick little video, something I came up with. Um, to the brothers out there that's using Dean's Connectors 6.5 millimeter high current bullet connectors, battery ESC connectors. Um, I like them because they want a high current. Although I'm not running 8S systems, I do. I, I am up to 6S. These are high current, no problems out of them whatsoever. Excuse my soldering job. It ain't the prettiest, but I got the job done. Actually, this is reused. That's why I look like that. I reused these. This cable right here and the red one right there was reused. But it works. No shorts, no sparks. It works. But um, I mainly had to use this or came up with this for my Vorza. This is a series connector, which gives you double double the ampage. The same milliamp, but double the ampage. My Vorza came with this pre-installed, not this per se, but it came with a series pre-installed. But the way I wanted to run my setup with the Castle Cat Pack, I couldn't use that system. So I, I knocked it back down to its original two cable plug like that. So I could put my um, cat pack in between the cables as instructed. So what I did was, as I did that, so I made this so I could still run my two batteries when necessary. So I just modified it. Same thing. And um, then I was online, not online, but I got on YouTube. So I'm like, okay, because of my mini Revo, I use the parallel connection. The parallel is so that you can run two batteries at the same time, but the same voltage, but they are uh, milliamps to be combined. So you get longer run time. Not this connection right here. This is just the, um, this is the series. So you get double the voltage. But anyway, I was uh, searching high and low for somebody that did this, but in a parallel version. I didn't see any. There was another man out there. He used bullet connectors. He didn't use the castles. He might use castle, but he didn't use this particular castle with the housing. But he had the bullets that's inside the where is that? They had, he had these bullets, a bullets like this. And he like it's just a bullet and a wire. That's it. There's no housing like this little green section. There's no housing like that. So that's not safe. I mean, you probably did put the um the uh, shrink wrap to the tip, but to me that's not safe. Some people do it. I didn't want to do it. It's just not my preference. So anyway, what he did was he manipulated the inside of this by dremeling some of the edges, which you see it ain't much edge as it is. He dremeled the edge and widened it up so you can fit these two cables in there. These are 8 gauge. I think he used 8 gauge as well. Excuse me, 10 gauge. I believe he used 10 gauge as well, but these are 10 gauge. You're not squeezing both of these ends inside a bullet like this. You see as it is, it fits, well, you got the cable, got the wrap on there, but that cable, two of those are not fitting inside there. I tried. You got to squeeze, plus with the solder on it, you got to squeeze the hell out of it, try to get it in there. And then remember, once it's in here, it has to be flush like so, so it can fit inside the housing. This snaps inside the housing. So his method didn't work for me. So I started sitting around brainstorming. Um, I like getting information off of YouTube. That's what it's for. Brothers, ladies, are sharing ideas out there. They put it on YouTube to help other people out. For instance, my um my bandit bill. My bandit bill right here. I hate the way the bandit looks from the factory. I hate that wing on the back of them. Not the whole thing. I can't stand the original bandit wing on the back. So um I got on YouTube, the good brother Dark Clipped Dark Clipped Heart. Did this mod. I liked it. So I did it for me. Now he also said he got it from somebody else. But that's what YouTube is for. To get and to share ideas. So anyway. That's where I got that from. But anyway. The brother didn't have any videos on soldering. He does a lot of uh, modifications to his vehicle. But I didn't see that video on him. My point was. That's what YouTube is for. To get and share ideas. So I'm sharing you an idea. Sharing an idea with you that I came up with. Here I made a parallel connector for the Dings 6.5 millimeter 
bullets. This is parallel. See how it looks. That's parallel. So you will plug two batteries into this thing. And that part into the ESC. These are also labeled too. Battery. Just like the other end. It says ESC on it. So they're labeled. But anyway. This kind of adapter. Is par it's called parallel. Because you get the same voltage. But you get double the milliamp. Double the capacity. In other words, longer run time. So I mainly did this for my uh <laughs> where we did for my four by four slash. So now I can run a one thick battery pack or those two packs in there and run them parallel, you longer run time. Also, I can use this for my bandit once I put the expansion, the battery expansion kit in there. But simply what I did, you know these two ends. That's common sense. You already know how to do those. This end, as you can see clearly through the uh, through the wrap. These two wires, I soldered together. Got them as tight as could possibly be. Then this wire, I I forgot what it's called. When you open it up like a like a budding flower, you open it up. I opened it up, put it over that connection. Remember, it's already soldered inside the original connection. Opened it up over that connection. Crushed it down tight as I can possibly get it. These are 8 gauge wires. Not going to be the, I mean 10 gauge. Keep saying 8. These are 10 gauge wires. So it's not going to look that pretty. But it is very functional. And it's sealed up good. So it's not coming loose. It's not going nowhere. I could damn nearly pull my little, pull my son with this. It's not coming off. So I opened it up. Put it over that connection. Put more solder on top of that. Which heated up the solder inside. So it's a perfect solder. Perfect connection all the way around. It's not coming apart. So you see that with the negative with the positive. So there's my Y, my split. So now I have a series, excuse me, a parallel beams adapter. Damn, I'm messing up all I'm messing all up this morning. A parallel castle connection. Like I said, it gives you double the uh run time, double the milliamp, but keeps the same voltage down. Because I got two three-cell batteries that are 3.3 .3 milliamps. So now I got, what, 6.6 .6 milliamps? If I ain't do the math right, forgive me. I'm not an engineer or anything like that. But I get double the runtime and still keep it on a three-cell level. Just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. It is possible. I didn't have to manipulate the structure of the bullet whatsoever. It's still the same size bullet. That one cable going inside the bullet. Branching out into two cables. This is just an uh, electrical tape that I used to keep the wires in place while I soldered them. I was left it on there. It's just more protection. Then I put my shrink wrap on top of that. That's all I did. Real simple, real plain. Uh, also, this is what I use for soldering. Radio Shack. There may be some cheaper out there, but there's plenty of Radio Shacks in my city. So I was ran by and I copped it. 6040 Rosin Core. There's no um there's no lead in this was lead free. I got on when I first started soldering, I got on the channel, started surfing. A lot of people recommended this mixture right here, so I copped that. Got my little extra hands right there. Like I said, I got this this might this might have came off of eBay or Tower Hobbies. Got plenty of cable. My I got the cheap and basic soldering iron. I think it's 40 watts. Yeah, 40 watts. It's the basics. I might get some Home Depot or Lowe's, but it, 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 it's time for a new one. Y'all can see that right there. It's definitely time for a new one. But I want to get a good one where I can change the tips out. I can't find the tips for this anyway. Not even on there. Um, this is a name brand, Weller. But not even the website shows tips, exchangeable tips for these. So it's time for a new one. Uh, as far as my wraps this came off of amazon i forgot the price i'm not gonna sit here and quote you a wrong price i forgot the prices get on amazon type that in there you'll get these plenty of sizes some color options so 
Big old case of shrink wrap off of Amazon. That's what I use for my saw. That's my little soldering sta my station. Portable table in my living room. That's my soldering station. Basement's too dark. But that's it, folks. Uh, just wanted to share that with y'all real quick. Castle. Creations. Bullet connectors. Parallel. And series. Peace.